Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and today I would like to talk to you about the very special string library. You're cutting against the grain, you're doing it wrong. No, I'm not. I talked about the sunset strings from Realitone already in the past. I'm working on a short movie at the moment and it was 99-95% done with sunset strings from Realitone. This is maybe the only string library that you still need. It doesn't matter how many string libraries you already have. This one you need if you don't have it yet. So in this case, the whole thing starts, as you can see here, with an attack, which is a slow band, which goes up a whole note. Already that sound, how cool is that sound? Then from the pitch drift with the mod wheel I blend in the second layer which are these short crescendi. The next band, and then when I release the notes, there is this scatter. And now yes, the movie is done. It's called Two Sides of the Same Coin. It's from Lea Sage. There will be very soon a film scoring tutorial where we'll go into depth about the markers and this, the speed changes and, and the storytelling and everything. Today I just would like to show you how I could um, realize such a nice score thanks to one special library because by touching the mod wheel you can change the mood. This is not meant to be as a review or something else. There's a very very good walkthrough of this library by Mike Green from Realitone. He's even having a very fine sense of humor so it will make you smile watching his walkthrough. If you're interested in a review of this library in depth from my side let me know in the comments. Now I just would like to show you quickly what this library is about and what makes it so special to me. So it's played by 14 players and you do have, and that's the cool thing, two layers. You do have the bottom layer where you can choose one articulation and you do have the top layer where you can choose another articulation. You do have attacks, you do have releases and every preset you create, you can then save as a user preset, which you can then trigger by keys, which is very handy as you will see in a minute for film scoring. And just to give you an idea about the attacks, so we do have slow bands, quick slides, uh, convert shorts, whatever. Let's make a slow band up a whole step. And if I press then a note, you know, there's this whole step before the note is played. Very nice, very nice, this one. The same goes for the releases. Obviously you can switch them off completely. And then you, leave the key or you switch them on and you choose whatever should happen like in this case um, a scatter long and then if I leave the keys it just goes down the drain really cool and now switching them off to demonstrate even the thing about the two layers for example on the bottom layer now i do have flautando which is really really a lush sound in this library all all the the articulations in this one have a very warm very special tone okay and then on the top layer i have in this case the short crescendi which just add a little life to it. But of course I could go for something really mad, like for example, the clockwork, which is an effect. And then if I play, and then I dial in with the mod wheel. You see, you get this effect. And the cool thing is you can do this whilst you play. So the music can continue, but the mood changes anyhow. And this is what I did quite a lot in this score. So let's have, um, I don't want to spoil it too much about the movie. Just believe me, there's a very nice twist to it towards the end. I don't want to spoil it. Anyhow, there's the movie window. You can see snippets from the film and it starts quite soft. She is alone in the kitchen. 
Obviously, I muted the audio from the, the video itself. There's just, you know, this flautando. The short crescendi, quite soft, she preparing dinner. Key switch. And you see now I triggered the release. Until now I could play normally. So if we listen only to the strings, you see the scene changes here for the first time from her being alone in the kitchen not being alone anymore and I played a lot a lot a lot with this always going forwards backwards between these two layers depending if you see her alone or if you see both of them so there comes the next scene they're both in the kitchen they start to argue and even here I used a very nice articulation which is the pitch drift So here the pitch is drifting. And then I dial in something that is called broken clocks. There was the scatter again for changing the scene, then yeah. Here there is the, 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 the main theme. So it's mostly strings and, and piano. And here I used even then the cello untamed with its improvisations. So it's very expressive if, if you combine those. And then again, obviously, as we come here, key switch, I do get... Whenever the scene is changing, I have the string players like, Ugh, doing something like this, which is really, really cool. Thanks to this library. Then there's again... <laughs> She's having even a knife there in her hand, so it was quite dramatic. It's again her alone preparing dinner. Then you see them again. You know, it's going forth and backwards like this. Um, Yeah, listen to this. I mean, how cool is this having an effect like this? And then again, this soft sound combined with these effects. I, yes, there are many libraries offering something like this, but you would need to combine them. And here you just load up the top layer, the bottom layer, and then you blend using the mod wheel. I absolutely like it. Um, She's having her dinner alone and then you see him in the kitchen, which is even quite a haunting scene. And there again, I used the pitch drift with the broken clocks, which are absolutely fantastic. Which there's even one scene, but as I said, I don't want to spoil it too much. Where I used even the big guns, they have been the symphonic destruction, um, but when there will be the film tutorial, I will show you and explain you exactly what have been the choices that Leah, the director, and me made. So you see there's in the kitchen. And we're coming to the titles. where I used the short scatter anyhow going from one chord to the other. Even this is a very nice effect and I hope I could give you an overview of what sunset strings can do to your movie scoring. Um, as I said, this is not meant as a review, as an in-depth view of all the 
articulations that there are, I mean, there are the main articulations, you know, the sul tasto, the normale, the normale forte, the normale vibrato, the tremolo, the snow tremolo, the kitchen sink, the waves. There are trills, yeah, half steps, uh, no, semitones, yes, whole tone, minor thirds, major thirds, repetitions, swell, shorts, really cool shorts, even effects. And the same goes for the attacks and for the releases. Just look how many things you can choose from. <clears throat> know your tools, know your libraries, and especially something like this is definitely worth knowing it. And we're nearly through with this video. As always, I'm saying this at the moment a lot. There is still my PM58. Um, you can vote in the community if this one should be donated to someone or if this one should live the microphone destruction. And with this, for today, I'm through. If you would like to see another video of mine, then I suggest, as we are talking about film scoring, watch my video where I explain how to set markers for movie scoring in Logic. And that's it. As always, make good music. See you in the next video or in the next live stream. Bye-bye.